even at eight, like eight, nine, ten years old, he was always interviewing the other kids. So I knew from watching that he had something special. He loved the radio talk show. And he said, Mom, that's what I want to do. I want to do the radio talk show. I want to do TV talk. From the time he was a little kid watching the Eagles with his dad, he wanted to be on SportsCenter. And he just knew. He knew from a young age, he would tell me, he's like, I know I'm going to do big things. What Kevin did was sort of take what was available at Temple and just completely rock that out. At age 19, he was doing, you know, stats with Harry Callis. Well, what team on campus has won 21 straight games, finished with an undefeated record in their conference, and has not lost on the road all season long? Well, if you've been paying attention to past shows, which I know you have, then you can easily guess that it's the volleyball team. When he started a Temple update, it became reality because he was sitting in front of the desk and everything hit him. When I was a teenager growing up, I watched in the summertime six straight hours every day Sports Center. The same stuff on the loop. Yeah, I was addicted to it. <laughs> My mom was like, What's going on? I said, No, come on, this is going to be coming up right now. I can anticipate this play. Hi, mom. It was very thrilling to see my own son on a screen anchoring the saying, I'm Kevin Nagandi. <laughs> I thought he looked like any other local sports anchor. And uh, so I really dismissed him. It may have been six months later or so that I saw it, saw it again. There was a cockiness about him, which I like. We're just uh, an hour and a half away from tip-off from Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. And we are standing next to the most versatile plane here in beautiful Germany. Kevin Nagani alongside Hannah Storm. The first time I met Kevin, he walked into the ABC7 newsroom in Sarasota, Florida. He had his sunglasses on. and. You know, he was strutting through the newsroom, and I just remember thinking, that's definitely the sports guy. He's got the confidence, he's got the swagger. Somehow, I don't know how, everything finds its way back to Philly sports. Remember you getting that BA at Temple University in broadcasting? You could have gone on the Broad Street line, come down here and watch the birds, Kevin. He's a Temple owl, and if you listen to his story, he's overcome adversity. But you, when you listen to him, you learn that he, he's willed himself. To, to these heights. He's, he's made things happen. He's been willing to sacrifice. He sat in these same halls. He walked these same streets. He ate on these, from these same food trucks. He doesn't forget where he comes from. He comes back to Phoenixville all the time, and he's always uh, wanting to do for others. It is something telling the younger generation of Indian born in America that, yes, dream, the dreams do come true. He has broken a lot of barriers and really helped to open doors for other people as well as shut down a lot of stereotypes. So I, I think that Kevin is is really for any young man or woman to look at someone with a lot of hard work and tenacity. And that all started at Temple. 